Hey friends, I'm Ashton, a family and emergency nurse practitioner and one of the instructors with SMMP Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that y'all have been asking for, asthma updates. And in this video, we're going to review a few basics, but if you want to take a deeper dive into this topic, definitely check out one of our review courses. Also be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our latest videos. So when we're talking about asthma recommendations, what is GINA anyway? Well, GINA is the Global Initiative for Asthma, which is a network of health experts that provide an annual report of recommendations on asthma prevention, diagnosis, and management. In 2019, after over a decade of research, GINA published new guidelines that were considered the biggest change in asthma management in over 30 years. After decades of research, short-acting beta-2 agonists or SABAs such as albuterol are no longer the preferred reliever inhaler for adults and adolescents with asthma. This is because research has shown that while SABAs provide short-term relief of asthma symptoms, they do not reduce the risk of exacerbations, and frequent uses of SABAs actually increases the risk of exacerbations. Instead, Gina now recommends that all adults and adolescents with asthma receive an inhaled corticosteroid or ICS containing inhaler. This is because decades of research has shown that inhaled corticosteroids reduce the risk of asthma related death, exacerbations, and hospitalizations, which is huge, y'all. Now, let's break down each step for adults and adolescents with asthma. In step one, patients have no risk factors for exacerbations and experience symptoms one to two days per week at the most. For these patients, a low dose ICS LABA or long acting beta agonist PRN, such as budesonide formoterol, is the preferred treatment, with formoterol being the preferred LABA. Formoterol is the preferred LABA because it has a rapid onset of action similar to a SABA. Then in step two, these patients have symptoms more than in step one, but up to three to five days per week, or they have risk factors for exacerbations. In step two, we will still want to continue that as needed low dose ICS for motorol. Then in step three, patients experience symptoms most days or have one or more nighttime awakenings per week. So we step up to a daily low dose ICS for motorol. Patients can also use this as an as-needed reliever when needed. Step four is when patients are experiencing symptoms daily or waking up with symptoms more than once per week, and they may have impaired lung function as well. In step four, we start to consider a referral to pulmonology, but we can go ahead and increase the dose of our ICS to get a medium dose ICS combined with formoterol daily. If they are not improving, that is when we get to step five. And so at this point, we definitely want to refer these patients out to pulmonology for further evaluation and treatment. In step five, the pulmonology specialist will consider a high dose ICS for motorol combination and possibly the addition of a long acting muscarinic antagonist or LAMA, such as tiotropium or spiriva. It's really important to note that GINA releases new guidelines yearly, and we are just talking about board prep here. So when it comes to real practice, definitely make sure that you are referencing the newest guidelines for treatment and making sure that you are giving the most up-to-date care. There are several more aspects of asthma to cover for your exams, so be sure to check out our courses for a more in-depth review. I hope you found this video helpful in reviewing a few of the basics. Also, if you are looking for an amazing free community of students just like yourself prepping for their board exams, make sure to join our Facebook group and these will be linked in the description below. Here are my references. And that wraps up this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. You are so close to becoming a real deal nurse practitioner. We are rooting for you.